more of your story, Boo Belly. Please! <laughs> All right, then. The big freeze lasted for many days, but finally, it seemed as if the very long winter was coming to an end. For all the wonderful things Strawberry Shortcake had done to help her neighbors, she had been elected queen of the spring regatta. What's a regatta, Blue Belly? It's a sailboat race. Ooh! The weather turned warm. It seemed like spring was in the air. Raspberry was planning a big fashion show to display her spring line. Okay, so the models will walk around the fabulous fountain. Oh, the fountain, the symbol for spring showers, of watering cans, watering spring, uh, flowers, of snow melting to waterfalls, rivers, raindrops. I think we get the idea. Raspberry, I think it's a wonderful idea. Something a little different than a catwalk. Oh, I was so very excited. It's going to be spectacular, spectacular, spectacular. Oh, I tell you, no one in Berry Betty City will have seen a water show like it. It will be a great success, Barrican Bruce. I've been planning for weeks, but only Strawberry knows about it. It's gonna be a surprise as a celebration of spring. I say, hand me that whoopsilator, would you? Uh, here you are there, Ed, old pal. Uh-huh. Is that a webzilator? Uh, hope so? Now you know that it is not so. That, over there. Now, to your left. Oh, never mind. I'll get it myself. You know, Ed, I'm kind of wishing it was still winter. You know what? It still could be. This has been a wacky season. Back and forth, coming and going. Oh, I miss skating around on those skaty doohickeys Blueberry made us uh, for traveling on the icy roads. Icy skites, Earl. She calls them icy skites. Oh, why, uh, yes, I, I suppose that is true. Well, the roads aren't frosted anymore. So, so, Ed? Let's say we glue some ice cubes on our icy sky blades, and we could put these doohickeys to use all through the summer. But what goes? Ice cubes, all summer glue. Do you have any idea? I know. Don't say it. Another one of my ideas that doesn't make very much sense. You need this? No, I don't need that. I. <laughs> the boss. Barrick and Ed, Barrick and Earl, I have a surprise. You do? But it's for later. What is it? Uh-uh. Now, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Oh, yeah. I suppose that's true. Oh, <laughs> it's lovely, Raspberry. Wait, wait. Oh, yes. Oh, the crown. I know it's not the real Regatta Queen's crown. You'll have to be officially crowned by Princess Berrykin. But I wanted you to get the whole, you know, the whole idea. I really feel like a queen. Mail delivery, Miss Raspberry Tort. Oh, goodness. Is that your Regatta Queen costume? <laughs> it is indeed. Didn't Raspberry do a wonderful job? You both do very bitty city justice. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like your mail now as well, Miss Shortcake? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> mail? Got a buzz. <laughs> Have a very nice day. Oh, wow. It's the invitation to your spring fashion show at the fountain. Thank you, Raspberry. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh-oh. What a oh I'm sorry, Raspberry, but Barry Ken Bruce planned the big water show weeks ago and wanted to keep it a surprise. Otherwise, you would have known that he wanted the same date as you. Well, I could move my date and resend the invitations, I guess. Let's see if we can work this out. Well, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hello, Hello Barry Ken Bruce. Bruce. I wonder if you could help us, Barry Bruce. 
Raspberry sent out invitations to a fashion show she has planned around the fountain. A fashion show? How very wonderful. <sighs> My new spring line. Um, and it's for the same day that you wanted to do your water show. Shh! It's a surprise. I know. She only told me because, well, I was wondering, since no one knows about it yet, could you maybe be flexible with your date? Maybe you could put your show off one day, or have it the day before, or two days before, or two days after, or... Am I invited? Well, sure. <laughs> of course you're invited. Well, I don't see why I couldn't have the water show the day after. Oh! Oh, thank you, Barry King Bruce. You saved my spring fashion show. Oh, well, it's nothing. Uh, I'm glad to help. Uh, can you fellas hold down the fort? I gotta go, uh, do something real important. I'll be back in a couple hours. Sounds great, boss. Yep, uh, see you later. Do you suppose it's a surprise thingamajig that he's working on? I don't suppose, because I'm not supposed to suppose. It's a surprise, Earl. That's what the boss wants. That's what he'll have. Done. Shall we try it with the music now? Oh, hi, Barry King Bruce. Hi, Barry King Bruce. Uh, Miss Tord, may I have a word? Of course. He seems undone, beside himself. Wonder what he's upset about. But this is the best time for me to work out my fountain show while all the Barricans are down at the Berry Works. I don't want them to see the surprise. I understand, but right now is when the light's just right for my rehearsal. And the girls were able to take some time off during lunch. Go, what'll I do? What'll I do? What if you rehearsed your water show at night? Please, not so loud. I don't want anyone else to find out about the surprise. What surprise? We hear someone say, surprise? Yeah. I'm doing a spring water show extravaganza. Ooh! Don't worry. We won't breathe a word. A spring water show extravaganza? Wow, that's neat. Yeah. You forgot your lunch, boss. Wowzers. I see you got super bitty aqua berry kim blast on your lunchbox. Maybe you'd like to switch with me sometime. I got super bitty fern tendril freed of firefly on mine. Oh, maybe that's not such a good idea. Oh well, back to work. Oh, don't worry. I won't tell anyone about the surprise. Oh. You know, Barry King Bruce, Strawberry has a calendar in her cafe with all the community events. Why don't we organize a rehearsal schedule? That's a very good idea. There we go. Problem solved. Now the fashion show and the water show both have their own rehearsal times. <laughs> Sorry I'm late for rehearsal. Wait, stop! Slow down! Whoa! I liked it all the way up to that last move. Barry King Bruce must have been rehearsing his water show here last night. The whole place is soaking wet. Oh, should we rehearse somewhere else? We could, but today we need to hang the decorations. Oh, I hope they don't get soggy. <sighs> Barry Kim Bruce is going to get the whole area soaking wet all the time. I... I... I don't know if this whole sharing the fountain thing is working for me. Looking good, Earl. Mm hmm Say, it's closing time. Where's the boss? You're right. I haven't seen him for hours. Maybe he's working on the... Surprise. Which I guess isn't so much of a surprise to you anymore, is it? Aw, oh, Ed, 
You know I can't tell. But since I know what the surprise is, maybe I should go check and see if he needs any help with it. You do that. Aw, oh, Ed. me down, Earl. I'm all tangled up in these silly decorations. I think they are quite cheerful. Oh, just, will you please help me down? Oh, oh, oh yes. Uh, uh, yes, of course. Aha! Uh, 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 thank you. How am I supposed to practice my water show here with all these paper decorations? Uh, uh maybe we could put umbrellas over them. Uh, see, you put the umbrellas up and and the water doesn't um get on the decorations. <laughs> I think I better go talk to Strawberry. I don't think this sharing the fountain thing is working for me. Um, Earl, thank you. I think I can handle this myself. Uh, okay, boss. We'll see you later. Ugh. Umbrellas. <sighs> Strawberry, we've tried. <clears throat> we really have. Hmm, you know, I've been thinking. And maybe this is an idea that doesn't make very much sense, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, because sometimes the ideas that don't seem like they make very much sense end up making more sense than you think. Tell, tell us. us! What if you combine the fountain show and the fashion show and work together? You mean model my spring line while the water show is going on? <laughs> mm -hmm. But my fashions would get soaked. Wait a minute. Barrick and Earl had an idea. Well, he mentioned something about umbrellas. What if your models modeled with umbrellas? That sounds kind of fun. <laughs> what a very unique idea. Oh, the whole spring showers thing I was going for, which is why, well, it's because, I mean, that's why I wanted to do the fashion show around the fountain in the first place. Let's do it. <laughs> Great, problem solved. Spring celebration. Wow, Lemon, you're almost done. These are the most beautiful sails I have ever seen. This will be the very best spring regatta ever. With the very best queen. Evening, boss. Ah, evening, Ed. Earl. The Super Booster Juice Flow Pumperator is ready to go. This will really boost production at the Berry Works. That's very good news. Uh, anything wrong, boss? Well, I gotta tell you, the, the girls' spring fashion show is spectacular, and I was sort of hoping my water show would be spectacular, too. But with the fashion show in front, I'm worried no one will even notice it. That's uh, rough, gee. boss. I wish there were just some way to make it bigger, more spectacular. Any ideas, guys? You, um, want to boost the power of the water jets? Well, yeah, that would work. What if we hook up the Super Booster Juice Flow Pumper to the fountain controls? That's a great idea, Ed. Uh, let's roll her over there. Uh, what is it, Earl? Oh, um, nothing. You want to come along? No, no, I'll just get in the way. This'll be great. A water show that no one will ever forget. Rev her up, Ed. Wow! Wow is right! Boy, oh boy, is everyone gonna be surprised? Ooh, they're getting kinda cold, boss. Yeah, well, 
Let's call it a night. If I didn't know different, you might think winter's coming back. just came from the lake. It's frozen solid. <gasps> huh? Huh? I thought it was spring. I mean, it was. But I guess it wasn't because winter is definitely back. All those beautiful sails Lemon painted for the spring regatta. Oh, Strawberry, I wish there was a way you could still be queen. Not on a frozen lake. We can icy skite on the frozen lake. I already put my icy skites away. Oh, wow. Oh, we could... Oh, we could just... What was that? Well, I was thinking of Blueberry's icy skites and... Uh, oh, nothing. Nothing. Uh -huh. I know that look. You were getting another of your ideas. You mean one of my ideas that doesn't make very much sense. Listen to me, Earl, old buddy. Don't listen to me. I mean, don't listen to all those times I said your ideas were silly. Just forget them. I'm sorry I said them. Your ideas are very good. And should be said. If you have an idea, Barry Ken Earl, we'd love to hear it. Really? Yeah. Like you said, Strawberry, sometimes the ideas that don't seem like they make very much sense end up being the best. Like, like, Earl, didn't you have the umbrella idea that saved the show? Uh, when there was a show? Well, my idea is, um, on the lake, I mean, on the ice, we could do it all. A uh, kind of, I don't know, a winter ice skating fashion show thingy? Hey! An ice show! A fashion show on ice! What's this mountain in the middle? Whipped cream. Uh, I mean, the frozen fountain. I, I thought maybe uh, put it out there, right on the ice. Uh, kind of like a, uh... A centerpiece. An ice sculpture right in the middle of the... <gasps> It'd be beautiful! We'll just slide it over, sculpt it a bit. It'll be spectacular. Hey, yeah! Great idea! Ooh, I could turn my fabulous spring fashions into... into ice fashions. I can donate all the winter fashions you helped me make for my Icy Skites commercial. Wow! It'll totally work! Fantastic. Oh, this is gonna be great! But the regatta... Hmm, the boats... Yeah, there's no way to sail our boats on the ice. No, there's a way. If we borrow some of your icy skites... 
like how Barry Kin Bruce and I cleverly combined our shows, we could also combine the regatta. I could write this song all by myself, sing it solo with no one else. But that would be lonely, it's true. Everything is better with you. I could be alone all day, by myself in the cafe. It doesn't matter what I do. Everything is better with you. Everything is better with you. And so, the very long winter had come and gone and come back again. This time, no one knew how long it would stay. But this time, it didn't matter. Everyone had found that wintertime or springtime, they could always find a way to have fun together. That in Berry Bitty City, every season had its own very big possibilities. enough of the limelight, so I hope you don't mind, Strawberry, but the Berry Big City Bitty Games needs a band for the opening ceremony. They called me, but I suggested your band, and sent a tape. And they said yes! <laughs> There's so much to do. I have to pack. But what do I pack? Oh, uh, I'll need a jacket if it's cold. And shorts if it's hot. Galoshes if it rains. <laughs> Take it easy, Raspberry. You don't even know when we're going. When are we going, Cherry? Tomorrow. <gasps> Tomorrow? There's so much to do. Wait, Wait for us. us! Wow. We're going to Berry Big City. That's... A long way. <laughs> uh, uh how, how are we gonna get there? Oh, I thought we'd just take my tour bus. Oh. Uh, how long will we be gone? A long time, I bet. <sighs> well, I better get packing. Me too. Are you coming, Orange? Yeah, right behind you. 
we'll be taking my bus to Berry Big City. Do you think it'll make the trip okay? Hmm. Well, if anybody can do it, it's probably me. <gasps> Wonderful! And could you do one more thing with the bus? Hmm. When do you need it? Tomorrow. Hmm. <gasps> Tomorrow? <laughs> There's so much to do. Where's my sprocket wrench? When we're a team, we can do anything. We're invincible. Let's make a plan. Together we can. We're invincible. Ah, strawberry. Would you have any of that marvelous mulberry pie? The very best pie in very many city. <laughs> Why, thank you, Berry Kim Bloom. Right away. What is this? Don't tell me. You're rearranging the cafe? No. You're looking for a treasure. No, no. You're 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 going on a trip? Yes! <laughs> All the way to very big city! Oh, a magnificent metropolis. I haven't been there since. <gasps> what? <gasps> if you're there and I'm here, how will I get any pie? Oh, uh, that's a very good question. Hiya, Orange. What you doing? Where are you going? And why? We're all going away on a long trip. <sighs> but what about us? Where will we get things like this? And that? And these? <gasps> Where will my customers go? Look what will happen to us! We'll be lost! A critical matter indeed. What will happen to us and what will happen to Berry Bitty City? There'll be no one to take care of my store. Or Lemon's Beauty Salon, Blueberry's Bookshop, Plum's Dance Studio, Cherry's Music Lessons, Strawberry's Cafe, anything! Maybe we can show the Berrykins how to run things while we're gone. Brilliant plan! We, the Berrykins, shall take charge! For duty, for honor, for Berry Bitty City! Yeah! Don't forget the scent stems! My customers love them! Check. When do I give the facial? After you set out the magazines. You want to make the salon experience a pleasure. Got it. Pleasure. Now, Mud? Okay, I think you're ready to... Oh! Uh, oh, my! Oh! Oh! <gasps> Beric and Belle! What? Did I miss a spot? I think we're gonna need a little more practice. I'll have the tossed salad, please. Tossing the salad! Tossing the tossed salad! Oh, that was... Very good, but next time, don't forget the plate. Oh! Well, it's, uh, different. When reading aloud, you must create the proper mood for your listener. Yes, the mood. Yes. <laughs> pepper under B. I suppose I'll find the missing red pepper under R. Hmm. Pepper goes in the P section. And sweet basil does not go under S. It may be sweet, but it goes in B for basil, sweet or not. This isn't working. They're doing the best they can, but oh, there's no way I can leave them in charge of my store. What are you saying? I'm saying that I'll just have to stay here. 
The rest of us go on without you? I'm sorry, Strawberry. But Orange, we need you in the band. Maybe if you show the Berrykins exactly what they need to know to run your store while you're gone, I'm sure they could get it right next time. Oh, okay. Let's give it another try. There! <laughs> How's that? Hmm. Now then, let's see. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, uh, never mind. That's where it's supposed to be. Aha! No, I guess that does go there. All in all, it's more or less basically perfect. Yeah! <laughs> Phew! <laughs> now you can go on the trip with us. <laughs> Looks that way, huh? Strawberry and the Sweet Beats Band Tour Bus. <laughs> well, what do you think? Fantastic! Oh, oh Barrican Bruce, it's beautiful. Well, <laughs> I figured if you're going to Berry Big City, why not go in style? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We were supposed to leave an hour ago. What's keeping her? She's just having a little trouble deciding what to pack. She'll be here any... Um... Minute... Uh, we're gonna need a bigger bus. I'm afraid there's not enough room for all of that, Orange. But I, I can't leave any of it behind. Not even two dozen jars of assorted jams and jellies? Well, I could maybe take just one dozen. Your store's entire stock of tape, paper clips, and envelopes? Well, you never know when you're gonna need. Come on, girls. Let's get the rest of this loaded on the bus. begin. Here's a nice book of nursery rhymes that I... No! Not that one! Leave this one. It's a lot better. Really? Well, uh, the case of the slinking, slinking slinker? Oh, my, <laughs> that sounds a bit <clears throat> frightening. But it's science! Oh, well, then... Uh, once upon a time, there was a slinking slinker who... <laughs> Hold on. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, um, are we sure we wouldn't rather hear these quaint and charming little nursery rhymes? Slinking slinker! Slinking slinker! A slinking slinker who had long, sharp, glistening teeth and a growl as loud as a foghorn. Oh, this sounds dreadful. <laughs> this will be so much fun! I can't believe we're actually going! Aren't you excited, Orange? Orange? Is something wrong? Stop the bus! <laughs> what is it? What's the matter? I just remembered I forgot to bring... my tea. <laughs> tea? We can get some in very big city. Not my special blend. It, it's my own blend. Mine. My very own. I cannot get it anywhere else. I... I guess there's time to go back. And 
the slinking slinker slinked into the night, and nobody ever knew what happened to it, and that's all the end! Yay! Read it again! Read it again! No, no, no. It's past my, uh, er, past your bedtime. Uh, come along now, come along. Uh, Off you go. Get to bed. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Don't think about... about that awful slinking slinker. Hey! Ah! Is everything all right, Berrykin Bloom? All right? <laughs> How could it be all right with that slinking slinker slinking about? Slinking slinker? Hmm, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> I should say. Slinking slinkers are only the most terrifying creatures in existence. I read it in a science book. And you say there's one around here? Here, there, no telling where. That's how it is with slinking slinkers, you know. They slink. Well, I'm not scared. Why should I be afraid of a... Let's get Orange's tea so we can be on the road again. No, <laughs> a slinking slinker. Oh, goodness me. I'm sure there's a simple expl... What was that? And th th that? We have to do something. We must protect Berry Bitty City while the girls are gone. We promised. Let's keep this to ourselves. No need to alarm the whole city. Hmm. I have an idea. Oh, I almost couldn't find it. Those barricans have my store too organized. Come on, let's get going. Listen, a whole army of them. We must defend the city. Stop the bus! <laughs> what now? I left the hose running in the garden. I think uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, that is the very best I could do with such short notice. Amazing! What is it? A slinking slinker snatcher. Watch. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I sort of thought so. Just a little farther. This is the last place the Slinker and Slinker was almost seen. Trap is set. Now what? Now we wait. It's very late. We don't want to wake the Berrykins. Let's be quiet. Oh, this sounds dreadful. It must be the slinking slinker. Shh. We don't want the Berrykins to think there's somebody slinking around. Yeah, but we're slinking around. What is this doing out here? Oh, see? I knew the Berrykins wouldn't put things away while we were gone. What is that? Looks like some kind of... Trap! Ooh, sounds like we caught a big one. <laughs> well, hey, these look a lot like... Strawberry shortcake. What are you doing here? Uh... We needed to come back? <sighs> to check on the city? Um, sort of. But the city is fine. That's why we built this trap. To protect Berry Bitty City from the Slinking Slinker. <laughs> the Slinking Slinker? That's just a story. <laughs> Did the baby Berrykins tell you it was real? Oh, oops. <laughs> I thought it was, and then when I heard, well, someone slinking. Oh. <laughs> that was just us, I'm afraid. <laughs> huh. 
Guess I let my worries carry me away. Running your businesses and taking care of the city were harder than we thought, but we did our very best. Didn't you trust us, Strawberry? Oh, it wasn't that. It was... It was me. I kept finding excuses to come back. I guess I was sort of afraid to leave Berry Bitty City. Aw, you were afraid? You could have told us. Oh, we understand. I'm sorry, Orange. It's no fun to feel afraid. Does it help to know we'll all be there together? It does. You're not afraid to sing, are you? And you're not afraid to put on a costume and get up on stage? No, of course not. Berry Bitty City is a very wonderful place, and we'd never leave it for long. You know that, right? What if, instead of thinking about what we're leaving behind, think of what's ahead? A great big adventure waiting for all of us. Yeah. Our band's first performance will be very amazing. I would never want to miss that. Uh, wait a minute, if you could. I have something for Orange. If ever I have occasion to travel from home, I always take this reminder of home with me. I'd like you to have it. Oh, look! It's Berry Bitty City. There's my house and my store. everybody. I think I'm ready to go now. Come on, sweet beats. We can practice our song on the way. When we're a team, we can do anything. We're invincible. Beach chairs? Check. Barbecue? Check. Oh, volleyball net. Oh, better get on that one. Thank you, Barrykinville. Everyone has done such a great job helping us open the resort on time. <laughs> we'll make sure you and the Barrykins get to vacation here, too. How about guests? Hmm, good point. I wonder what's keeping the girls. <laughs> Never heard of anyone being late for their own vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Persimmon in the case of the beach burglar, part one. Great! Now, part two. Hmm. Let's see here, Patty Persimmon. Ah, there it is. Part three. Part three. I can't just take the first two parts on vacation if I can't find out how it ends. Aha! Part three! What happened with my very best fruit fashion sunscreen? Hmm, maybe too much lime? Let me guess. Couldn't fit your fins in your bag? <laughs> you guessed it. I thought I'd take a little something to read on vacation. <laughs> Are you okay, Raspberry? <laughs> yeah, I just <clears throat> can't get this thing closed. Wow! <gasps> Over here. Uh, hello? Did somebody say something? Huh? <gasps> it's me, Plum. I think one of my fins is stuck. You're wearing fins too? <laughs> my mermaid outfit. Just wanted to do some water ballet. I didn't have room to pack it. <laughs> How'd you know? Lucky guess. Uh, what's, um... That's Raspberry. Oh. Morning, Raspberry. Morning, Plum. <sighs> Is everything gonna go wrong this morning?
morning. <laughs> I'm afraid this is not a good omen for the start of our vacation. There you are, girls. Cherry and I have been waiting at the resort. Let us help you with your, uh, pegs? <laughs> wow! Where's Lemon? Oh, she's coming. Something about a problem with her sunscreen. Oh, oh, see what I mean? What if the rest of our vacation is like today? <gasps> Oh, no, no, I'm sure our vacation will be trouble-free and relaxing. I mean, <laughs> after a morning like I've had, what else could go wrong? Hello, you lucky people. Mavis Maraschino. Aren't you lucky girls? Here I am. Poor Twinkles. Did you miss me? Thank the stars I caught you before you left. Is it luck or written in the stars? Cherry Jam, do I have a surprise for you? I am doing a new show, Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars. And guess who I am doing my first episode on? You. Who? You! How Ultra Pop Superstar Cherry Jam spends a vacation at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Oh, this is going to be fabulous publicity for you, kitten. Really give your career a boost. Um... Bertram! Let's roll! You got it, Mavis. And we're rolling. Excuse me, but I... Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Berry Big Bitty Stars. We all know there's no bigger Berry Big Bitty Star than Cherry Jam, who's my exclusive guest on today's show. I know you've all been asking yourselves, where does Cherry Jam vacation? How does a Cherry Jam vacation? Well, it's your lucky day because Mavis knows the answer. Cherry Jam is about to take her vacation at super exclusive, reclusive, elite, very breezy bay resort. But I'm not. Not what? Not spending my vacation at very breezy bay. Cut! Cut, 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 cut. Oh. Galloping galaxies. Please tell Mavis why. Very breezy bay closed early. Bad weather. Treacherous troposphere! Bad weather! Oh, bad way to start a premiere show. Oh, how can I tell my audience that Cherry Jam vacations? Nowhere! <laughs> Not at all! Oh, uh, well, she's going on a vacation at our very own homemade resort. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just down the... The, um... Oh, well, I, I actually don't know where it is. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, I, I still haven't figured out what's wrong with this thing. <laughs> oh, fixed it. Homemade resort? Oh, sounds rather dismal. Dismal? It means not cheerful. <gasps> Our resort is very cheerful. It's the very best resort ever. Come on, we'll show you. Uh, Pom, maybe we better... Bertram? With some fancy editing and a very distracting musical theme, we just might pull this off. We do not shrink when faced with a production challenge. We rise to... <laughs> Bertram, stop talking to that mermaid and roll camera. And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, bringing you lifestyles of the very big bitty stars. I know you've been waiting all summer to find out where mega pop star Cherry Jam vacations. And now, thanks to me, you're going to find out. I am standing on the beach at the exclusive, reclusive, ultra-luxurious, very breezy bay resort. Um, Mavis? Here's our superstar now. Excuse me, Mavis. You called this the exclusive reclusive Berry Breezy Bay Resort? It's really the happy, home-built, Berry Bitty City Resort. Cut! We were in the middle of a take, dear. Well, it's just that... Uh, this isn't Berry Breezy Bay Resort. It's Berry Bitty City Resort. 
Ba, bear, ba, breeze, oh, berry, berry, breezy, baboon. I mean, it doesn't make a bit of difference. Don't you see, my luminous lovelies? We must do the best with what we have. My viewers demand glamour, and they shall have glamour, and glitter, and gobs of both. Now, let's get a beauty shot of me under the palms. I don't know, Jerry. <laughs> be closed due to weather, but Berry Bitty Bay is closed due to Mavis. <sighs> There's always next summer to enjoy vacation. Wait a minute, girls. Don't give up on our vacation. This is my fault. She came looking for me. I'll fix it. Just go on with our vacation and, and I'll, I'll think of something. Oh, Cherry! Where's my little superstar? Quick, under here! <laughs> Jerry, what are you doing here? Shh! Has anyone seen Cherry Jam? Uh, I have no idea. Have you seen Cherry? <laughs> Can't imagine. Hmm. Oh, Cherry! Cherry! <sighs> Thanks, girls. Hmm, this gives me an idea. There's no reason for Mavis to shoot a pop star. If there's no pop star to shoot now, is there? <laughs> no, there isn't. Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Hi, Mavis! Well, hello, Mavis! Oh, oh well, that is it! I can't find her! <laughs> <laughs> Great idea, Cherry. <laughs> it worked. Bertram, do we shrink from a challenge? <sighs> we rise to it. Radio, camera ready. I'm going to find that cheery cherry megastar if I have to stay here all week. Oh, it didn't work. And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars, where today the question is, where in the world is Cherry Jam? This reclusive superstar seems even more reclusive than ever, but never fear, Mavis knows she's near. <laughs> You girls can't enjoy a relaxing vacation if you're busy hiding me the whole time. Why don't I just let her do the interview, and I'm sure she'll leave. Are you sure? How bad can it be? I'm coming out of hiding. Hi, Mavis. Here I am, ready for camera. <gasps> ready for camera? Come! Cut, 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 cut. Astounding asteroids. They make you cook your own food. I mean, what kind of a resort is this Berry Breezy Bay? Um, but it's not Berry Breezy Bay. Cherry, looks like you need a lesson in superstarring. Mavis knows. Come, come, Twinkles. <gasps> Time for a sweep, Starshine. The water's fine. <laughs> Mavis? Yeah! Ooh, I'm so sorry, dear. I'll make it up to you. I'll make you the star of my next episode. There you are, Moonglow. Now lie back, relax! <gasps> well, don't just lie there like a fallen meteor. Please, fetch Cherry a refreshing beverage. Huh? I'm sorry, Mavis. I can't do this. I can't have my friends... You're right. Only I, me that is Mavis, can show you how a glamorous vacation is vacationed. Where do I check in? Our first guest. <laughs> Isn't it, uh, well, there are no words to describe. Now this is how a superstar vacations. <gasps> That's her eighth lemonade. And she keeps asking for fresh towels. Well, 
Just think, she'll give our resort a great review, and we'll probably have lots of guests next summer. That would be great, except she keeps calling our resort by the wrong name. Girls, I think it's time that I just, well, politely ask her to leave. Ask her to leave? But, oh, Bitterberries, we've never asked anyone to leave Berry Bitty City before. It seems so unfriendly. Well, she's unfriendly. That doesn't mean we have to be. But we were supposed to be the first guests, not her. <sighs> if only we hadn't made her so comfortable. Now she'll never leave. Comfortable? <laughs> oh, did I ever get an idea. This one's gonna work for sure. And we're rolling. Mavis Maraschino here on a beautiful moonlit night at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Psst, they're almost ready. Great. Okay, everybody, you all remember what to do? <laughs> Crab control to lizard leader. Crab control to lizard leader. The crabs are ready. Lizard leader to crab control. The lizard is ready. Operation Make Mavis Comfortable is a go. Here goes. <laughs> Cherry jam. <gasps> Run for your life! It's the attack of the pinching crabs! <laughs> <laughs> You too, Fred. <laughs> all the time. Oh, yeah, along with that four-headed lizard monster and those pinching crabs. Oh! So, you won't hurt our feelings if you want to leave. I mean, that's just too much danger for anyone. We'll understand. <laughs> this is incredible! Oh! oh! I had no idea how exciting it is here. The thrill of going Mano a Mavis with nature herself. This place has brought me alive. Oh, don't hate me, Cherry Starshine, but I'm finished with celebrity reporting. Fluff and silliness. My new show will be an extreme adventure series starring moi. I'll call it Mavis, one maraschino against nature. With all its hazards, this resort is the perfect location. I'll be stationed here permanently. Aww. Mavis has ordered a backpack lunch of fruit salad and chocolate souffle, heavy on the chocolate. Says she's going on an adventure trek through the jungle where she's going to explore new ground. Oh. Our vacation is doomed. Hmm, new ground. New ground. Strawberry, do you still have that first draft of your essay? The one you wrote to win us the vacation to Berry Breezy Bay? Yeah, but why? I think I'm getting an idea. Blueberry, I'll need your publishing skills. Cherry dear, don't wish me safe travels because I'm off to shoot my first show in your thrilling jungle. I'll be back in time for dinner if I survive. That sounds thrilling. Almost as thrilling as the latest issue of Beyond Berry Big Adventure magazine. Almost. Let me see that. Special report from traveler Maxine Maximum about her adventures on the outrageously exotic, terribly thrilling, terrifically tantalizing perilous Passage Island? Oh, hazardous hurricanes! Nobody scoops Mavis Maraschino! 
Bertram! Yes, Mavis? Book us the first flight to Perilous Passage Island. Goodbye! I wanted her to go, but now I feel like I played a trick on her. We did play a trick on her. I guess we never believed it would really work. Now I feel bad. We have to tell her the truth. Um, Mavis? There's something we want to tell you. That story about Perilous Passage Island? There's no such place. Aw, oh, Twinkles. Are you trying to protect Mavis from harm? Well, I am fearless. I will take whatever comes my way to get a great story. No, really. You see, we just wanted to spend our vacation... vacationing together, not working on a TV show. And I should have been up front and told you that from the start. So, the truth is, there is no Perilous Passage Island. <laughs> Perilous pith helmets, that doesn't matter to me. If there isn't an island like that, there soon will be, and Mavis Maraschino will discover it. Or someplace even more harrowing. <laughs> Farewell, Twinkles. I am off to explore uncharted lands. or roast pineapple squares over the fire. Well, we tried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we, we tried. tried. Try mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> How we tried. Building the resort, hiding me, and the baby barricans dressed as crabs. <laughs> How about Mavis's face when she saw the lizard monster? <laughs> oh, that was great. You know, we really had a great vacation after all. Not what we expected, but maybe even more fun. Yeah! yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. You know, why stop the fun now? Do we shrink from a challenge? We, we rise, rise to it. it! Couldn't we put the umbrellas together with the fabric from the lizard costumes and make a tent? Yay! We'll have our beach party after all. I'll get the pineapple squares. Hey, what do you know? Quick, before it starts again. <laughs> for Cherry Jam's tour bus. Oh, let's reach for more! Well, let's get to work. We'll have Cherry Jam on our way home before you can say goodbye. Like nuts. Raspberry, watch out! Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I lost again. <sighs> You've lost three games in a row. We've heard of being a good sport, but this is extreme. Raspberry, is there something else you might be so giggly about? Okay, okay. I'm sorry, just... Okay, so last night, right after the talent show, something very unbelievable, well, incredible, um, and uh, just great happened. Excuse me, Miss Raspberry Tort. Here's my car, darling. Give me a call when this hoopla dies down. I'd like to talk to you about your absolutely fabulous fashions. Whoa! <gasps> yep! <laughs> Here's your card. Raspberry, that's great! <gasps> yes! Wow. Yeah. What'd she say when you called her? Uh, well, uh, I haven't called her. What? <gasps> Why not? Because I'm so scared, excited, nervous. I because what if it's if it's not? What if she says who? Raspberry, the dog trainer. Oh, oh dress designer. Ah, yes, it's all coming back to me now. The glitter gown. Well. Darling, are you sitting down? Because, congratulations, we're hiring you to make 6,000 dresses for the annual Very Big City Firefly Convention. I mean, who needs that? You don't know that's what would happen. And you won't know till you call. Yeah, well... Maybe later. I can wait. Well, we can't. But our, our game. <laughs> the game can wait. She might make you a fashion star. Think of the fame. The fortune. The fans. Oh, uh, hello? Yes, this is Raspberry Tort, and I... You have? Really? Oh, you do? Me? Yes! Uh, well, I guess! Yes! <gasps> well, tell us! What? Oh, she, uh, they want me to come to Berry Big City immediate... Right away, and talk about... Yes, yes! Starting a new line of raspberry glitter. You know, glitter gowns! <laughs> You have to help me. Tell me what to wear and what do I say and how do I act and... Oh, very big city. You don't need any help from me, Raspberry. Just be yourself. Come on, we've got to get you packed! Oh, come yeah! on! <laughs> Wonderful! Now let's... Uh, Miss Jam? Oh, hello, Barrykin Bruce. Came to give my apologies. I'm afraid your part still hasn't arrived. Part? Uh, what part? Uh, the hydraulic juicer rinser for your tour bus? Oh, oh, yeah, of course. No problem. Oh, well, thank you for being so understanding, Miss Jam. I know how anxious you must be to get back home to Barry Big City and get your tour underway. Tour? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. Oh, don't worry. I'm in no hurry. She's so nice. I'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, hello? Very Big City Motor Parts? I'd like to speak with the manager, please. Oh, uh, yep. oh uh, Strawberry, which one's dressy enough for Very Big City? Uh... We should ask Cherry. She'd know. Oh, uh, that's okay. Don't want to bother her. Hmm. What's wrong? Strawberry, do you think Cherry doesn't want me to go? Did she say that to you? No, but she doesn't seem so excited for me. I just don't know. You're right. You don't know. And you won't know until you ask her. Yeah. 
Okay, pretty pink or very merry magenta? Uh... <laughs> Both. Better to be prepared. Good luck! Wow, Raspberry! Have fun! I made you some hair scents for the trip. Good luck, Raspberry. Oh, thank you, Lemon. Did you talk to Cherry? Uh, I will, yep. Good. Good luck! Have a great time, Raspberry. Oh, thanks, Cherry. I just, um, I, I wanted to ask you... Do you know which hair scent you think's best for Berry Big City? You're the fashion expert! <laughs> Goodbye, everybody! We'll see you in a few days! <laughs> Yeah. Oh, muffin crumbs. Nice <laughs> shot, Blueberry. <laughs> Plum's turn. Fumble and poison berries. <laughs> I ripped my dress. <laughs> 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 Raspberry will sew that up in... Oh, that's right. She's not here. Ah! <laughs> it's an email from Raspberry. Listen to this. I can't believe what's happening. They're giving me my own design studio? <gasps> my own staff? <gasps> I'm coming back tomorrow to pack up the boutique. They want me to move here. <gasps> move there? <laughs> uh, wow, I didn't think she'd be moving away. Well, it's probably just for a while. I know. Let's bake some treats for a surprise celebration for her. You mean a send-off? Strawberry's right. Let's not show her how much we'll miss her, just how happy we are for her. Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, girls! I mean... <laughs> Step aside! Make way for the future fashion star of Very Big City, the fabulous Ra -ra Raspberry! Oh. Ra she eats up the fashion scene! Oh dear, I think we got off on the wrong stop. Uh, no, uh, this is it. <laughs> My home sweet home. You mean your old home. Girls, girls, look. It's Mavis Maraschino from the Fashion Further Forward show. She's doing a segment on me and my fashions. Oh, wonderful, Raspberry. Love that show. What a welcome to Berry Lady City, Mavis. That's Miss Maraschino to you, dearie. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you'd remember me from that time you interviewed me. I'm Cherry Jam. <gasps> Blood Scarlet Cummerbunds. Oh, Cherry, what have they done to you? Honey, I can get you a limousine straight to Salon de Vol. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just taking a little vacation here with my friends. And... They're holding you prisoner, aren't they? Oh, did they take your clothes? My lawyer can... Miss Maraschino. Mavis, doll. Mavis, please. Mavis, I'm quite happy here, and I am choosing to be here. Oh, well, you just say the word, and my people are at your service. In fact, I've been dying to get you on my show. Now, where's my little protege? To your best hotel! Oh, excuse me, girls. Gotta go! <laughs> Bye. That. If you find out, don't tell me. I don't think I want to know. Pinched, pleated Paisley, you poor dear. However, did you survive in such primitive working conditions? Ba -ba -da. Do yourself a favor, my cashmere kitten. Leave it all behind, especially that. But, but this is my very first sewing machine. 
It's always been with me. A dinosaur, my soon-to-be superstar. Let it go. Fashion forward means forward, not backwards. Mavis feels need for major manicure. There wouldn't be such a thing as a beauty salon in this outpost, would there? Why, yes, there would. We'll be right over for an appointment. Now, shoo, 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 ra, ra, raspberry is on a busy schedule. Raspberry, we're having a little party at the cafe tonight. Oh, uh, I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, I'll be there. Oh, no, 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 Miss Meringue. That's so last century. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, dear. You're thinking too small. Raspberry is not just a designer of fashions. She's a monument to fashions. Uh, no, 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 no. She's a winter, not an autumn. I want her studio painted winterberry rose, not fall mauve. They want to speak to you, dear. Hello? Uh, sure. <laughs> Whatever she said. <laughs> Don't mouse your nails. From head to foot, everything about her has to... Roar. Every shape, every color must roar fashion. Wait. Ooh. And what do you call this? Blackberry seed facial mask. We wanted blackberry seed and guava. I am out of guava. No guava? guava? Very big city salons are never without it. And never without the snootiest stylists. Oh, but Cherry, dear, they're the most famous, most highly sought after. Maybe that's why they never make friends with you, like Lemon does. This will never do. Don't worry, dear, Mavis is here. We'll have it all redone when you get home to Berry Big City. Strawberry. Jerry keeps saying what she doesn't like about Berry Big City. Now, you listen to Mavis. That's just what stars do. She's afraid of competition, so she's trying to convince you not to go. You mean, she's jealous of me? Uh, Raspberry, maybe you should ask Jerry? This is a bittersweet goodbye. Tears and smiles at the same time We know you gotta go and live your dream We've been together for so long You not here will feel so wrong But time goes on and we have our Said she needs her beauty sleep. 
She forgot us? The raspberry I know would never accept an invitation and not show up. <laughs> and I miss the raspberry I know. Cherry, is there any reason you wouldn't be happy for raspberry? Yes, there is. I mean, we're all going to miss her, but this is her chance to be a star. When you're a star, sometimes it's hard to be yourself. Raspberry isn't acting like herself, and the raspberry we knew was happier. So you're not jealous of raspberry? Oh, no! I'm worried for her. You know, the stars shine much brighter here than in very big city. Oh, not this cafe again. However did you survive with just one restaurant? Oh, uh, I, uh, I guess Strawberry's just such an incredibly inventive cook. We just never got bored. What's going on? Excuse me. Uh, hiya, Raspberry. Hi, uh, do you know where Strawberry is? Oh, Rice. <laughs> That's where we're going. <gasps> the very bitty city boat race. I can't believe they didn't remind me. Come on, Mavis. I can't miss it. It's my very favorite event. Boats? Oh, wait, if it's boats you want, I'll sign you up at the very big city yacht club. <laughs> Raspberry, glad you're here. Hi, Cherry. Why aren't you racing? It didn't feel right taking your boat out without you. Oh, I wasn't sure if you wanted me here. After last night's party, we weren't sure if you wanted to come. The party? Oh, oh I don't oh, know. Oh, don't worry yourself, kitten. Who wants to go to a dismal hoedown anyway? Well, I would. Oh, it's so not you, Button. Actually, it was a surprise going away party for you. Really? Jump in. Can we be a team? Sure. Hey, come on, Mavis. We can catch up. Bitter button hooks. You're not serious. Us in that? <laughs> She's my champion boat. Come on, get in. It'll be so fun. I am not getting in that bucket. This is not you. Mavis, watch out. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Mavis, I think that look is you. <laughs> How could you do this to Mavis, Maraschino? I have nothing prepared for my next show. That was kind of you to lend Mavis your tour bus, Cherry. It was kind of you to throw her this going away party. Oh, it's not a going away party for Mavis. It's a staying home party for both of you. Are you sure you want to give up everything in Berry Big City? Nothing there can make me feel like a star the way my very best friends do. The way you do, Cherry. I'm sorry I thought you were jealous of me. I wasn't being kind, wasn't being me. I'm glad the real me is back. Welcome home. Blueberry, 
Is everything okay? Uh, uh, oh, just breezy. I mean, uh, be beyond great. I mean, very fine. <laughs> Gotta go. Bye. <laughs> You're looking at swimsuits, but summer's almost over, silly. <gasps> uh, this? Uh, uh, I thought it was a hat. <laughs> uh, what do you think? I think you're trying to hide something. <laughs> Are you planning a special surprise swim party? Um, no. So, you don't need a swimsuit? <sighs> no, no. Absolutely not. Not at all. <laughs> okay. Then would you help me store these suits away? I have to make room for my fabulous fall fashion. Wait! Stop! I can't hide it anymore. But you gotta promise you won't tell anyone. Oh, sure! Of course! Um, absolutely! Strawberry is going to take us. <laughs> Surprise! My fall colors are in! Fall? Uh, we really are more interested in your summer colors. Like that in a mango mood you had? Or how about your playful papaya? Or sudden summer sunshine? But it's almost fall. Why do you want summer colors? <laughs> All right. I've known you long enough to sense when secrets are simmering. Um... Uh, okay, okay. But it's a secret. What's a secret? <laughs> okay. The most important thing about not letting Strawberry know we know she's taking us on a vacation we're not supposed to know about is acting surprised when she finally tells us. Now, let me see your very best surprise reaction. Wow! Woo! Woo! Oh, Super swell! Oh, yay! I mean, yippee! <sighs> From the top, one more time, with feeling. Visualize that she has just walked in and told us the news. Your reaction is... <gasps> Wow! Finally! You've got it! You look truly surprised! Surprised by what? Oh! Uh, uh, we're practicing for my new play! <laughs> Neat! I won't interrupt. I just came by to find Orange and... Oh, see if you have a diving mask and snorkel at your store? Oh, uh, uh sure, Strawberry. Come on! <gasps> Do you know what that means? We're going to go snorkeling on our vacation! Yeah! <laughs> Wait! I, I don't know how to snorkel. Oh, it's easy. We'll teach you. <laughs> this is the best way to chop onions. <laughs> they usually make me tear up, so... <laughs> You silly. <laughs> Come on! What did you say? I said that was close. What's she doing now? Hold on. 
Um, oh, here it is. I wanted to ask you if you'd help me write this essay for a contest. Describe your dream destination. I would take my friends on a surprise vacation to the very best tropical resort in the whole bitty world. An island paradise called Beyond the Berry Breeze. Ah, I am so surprised. But, well, that's all I've got so far. <laughs> you, you made it all up? Yeah, I just keep writing and rewriting and tossing it out. <laughs> oh, I was gonna give up when I thought of you. You're the perfect person to help me. Sure, just uh, leave it with me and I'll see what I can do to mess it up. I mean, fix things for good. Uh, I mean, fix it up. <laughs> Thanks, Blueberry. You're the best. Word. Come on, it's me. Well, it was your idea. <sighs> Beyond the berry breeze. <laughs> That's it. Hi, you blueberry. Ready to try on your beach sarong? No, no. No beach sarong. I love mine. What's wrong, blueberry? Well, I did some research on Beyond the Berry Breeze Island. And, <laughs> can you believe it? There are... Um, uh, no restaurants there, anywhere. Uh, no place to eat at all. I mean, huh, what kind of vacation would it be if we can't eat? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'll be very oh, hungry. Oh, Did you tell Strawberry? No, I mean, I can't give Strawberry the bad news until Strawberry gives us the good news about the surprise vacation. She's got to out. I'm sure Strawberry will cancel the trip when she finds out. <laughs> we won't let that happen. We can't let Strawberry down. <gasps> we'll live on island food. Ooh, ooh, like coconuts and mangoes and mangoes and coconuts. Yeah! No, you can't. I, I mean, the island food only grows on very tall trees. Uh, way too high for bitty girls like us to reach. So, perhaps, uh, we should forget the whole thing until next year? Or maybe the year after that? Maybe you're right, Blueberry. What if we couldn't climb all the way up to the... I mean, oh, maybe we shouldn't go. I was so looking forward to it. I'm so, so sorry. Well, it's not your fault. They weren't too disappointed. What's awful, Blueberry? <sighs> oh, Bosley Bookworm. I've really gotten myself into a pickle. You're inside a pickle? No, I misunderstood something Strawberry said, and so I told all my friends we were going on a vacation, but we really aren't. So instead of disappointing them, I kind of made up some things that I thought they wouldn't like about the vacation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> may I ask, did it work? <sighs> well, it did, but I never want to go through that again. No, I would think not. Uh, I'll see you later, Bosley Bookworm. I want to see what that sound is. That's it! Higher! Higher! Just because we're bitty doesn't mean we can't bounce big! Yeah! Yeah! Blueberry! Go practice! We're not going hungry on vacation. I don't know. Where's your can-do spirit? Kinda in a can't-do place. Don't give up, Blueberry! No, wait! Blueberry? We'll have to work on the landing, but look at all the fruit you picked. Nothing's gonna stop us. Uh, I'm very, very sorry, girls, but, um, well, what I'm trying to say is, 
Oh, the trip is off. <gasps> Strawberry canceled it? Yeah. Uh, no. I mean, she will. Yeah. Uh, I did some more research. And, uh... A very big blue jay. So? So, well, <laughs> the only airline that flies to be on the Berry Breeze Island is, uh, called Berry Big Blue Jay Airways. <laughs> and believe me, it is bad news. You sit on a bird and hang on for dear life, and they don't even land. You have to jump. You have to bring your own parachute. Own parachute? Aww. Thank you. We won't be going to be on the berry breeze. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Poor things. They were so let down. What if you just told them about your pickle that you were in and tell them what really happened? <sighs> Maybe. I know I was wrong not to tell them from the start, but I don't need to tell them the truth now. Because they've already given up on the trip. I'm sure of it. <laughs> What's that? Maybe it's the sound of them giving up. In fact, it's going to be fun. Come on, join us. Oh, maybe some other time? Like now? <laughs> I'm okay. Mostly. We'll take this flying thing a step at a time, Blueberry. We want you to start small and work up to total and complete free fall. Free fall! Free fall? Must I? It's for the vacation. Oh, the vacation. Uh, yes. Now remember, baby bounces. Just little tiny baby bounces. Wow! Maybe we tighten those a little too tight. Contest? 
Yes, except... I didn't know it was a contest. I thought... I thought you were going to take us all on a surprise vacation. And I told everyone about it. Ooh. The girls were so excited. I didn't have the heart to tell them it was a mistake. So I tried to give them reasons not to go. But they just wouldn't give up on it. Oh, my strawberry. They're never going to forgive me. Well, don't give up on them. Tell them the truth. That it was all my misunderstanding. So, there's going to be no vacation. I'm sorry for everything I put you guys through. So, there's going to be no vacation? No snorkeling? No surfing? No mangoes or coconuts? No parachutes or, or, or bungees? No blue jays? Mangoes snork... Blue Jays? It's all the things we imagined would be part of our vacation. Hmm. Except for the Blue Jays. It sounds like a perfect vacation. A dream, dream destination. destination! Hey, we can put all the things we imagined into your essay. Great idea! Will you all help me write it? should just give up and send it in like it is. Give up? We never give up. <laughs> now that's the spirit, Blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. There must be something else we made up for Beyond the Berry Breeze. The secret knock? Beyond the Berry Breeze. <gasps> and your bitty song. We'll fly to you with these. That's it! Maybe we can make the essay special by making it a song. That just might work! Beyond the fairy breeze, an island waits for me. Tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling by.
for not giving up, Blueberry. Well, I had some inspiration. <laughs> when you're done there, get over to that sidewall. Good morning, Berrykinville. Good morning, Strawberry, and a very beautiful one it is. <laughs> right as raspberries. Huh? Wow. Looks like the marketplace is off to a great start. This is going to be wonderful. Oh, I just hope it's quick. Remember, two weeks, two weeks! My next crop of very bitty produce will be ready to harvest in just two weeks. This marketplace has got to go up, 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 or there won't be any place to put my peaches. Lay out my lemons, keep my carrots. We're doing the best we can. Everybody calm down. I know the deadline is tight, but I've worked out a schedule. If we follow this, we'll be finished in two weeks. No problem. We can do that. No problem. Consider it done. Don't worry, Barry Kim Bloom. We'll be ready when you are. Oh, thank you, thank you. Gotta get back to caring for my corn, pruning my peas, weeding my watermelons, nurturing my nectarines. Oh. Well then, you have all your materials? Well, I could use those designs for your apartment on the second floor. Oh, I'll get to those today. And maybe some, oh, watch it, extra hands to help put up the frame this afternoon. Hmm, I'll round up the girls. See if they can spare a couple of hours after lunch. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, Plum! Ugh. Oh. Plum? On vacation? I didn't know she was going on vacation. Lemon has gone traveling? Oh. Orange's store is closed. Please come back another time. Gone fishing? Blueberry's never been fishing in her life. Oh, muffin crumbs. This is awfully odd. <laughs> Come on, Custard. <laughs> this isn't playtime, huh? Cupcake, please. I have work to do. <laughs> so, what do you think of this for my dream bedroom, Custard? Huh? Oh, you're right. There's something I forgot. I've always wanted a little shelf behind my bed. You know, to keep a glass of water, a book, and my phone. Oh, and my dream bedroom would have a skylight above the bed. Oh. I would wish on shooting stars as I drift off to sleep. And built-in drawers with the smallest drawer on top for socks and tights, and the largest drawer on the bottom for, you know, my sweaters. <gasps> no. What? What? What about your vacation and your travels and... Uh, fishing? Vacation? Pickled pineapples. Have you flipped your flaps? We've got a marketplace to build. Hold on, but you... You closed your stores, so... <laughs> <laughs> so we can help you, silly. You... You did that for me? Of course! Oh, we want to help! That's everything. what friends are for! Yeah. Why don't we head over to the building site and get started? have it mostly under control, but they do need extra hands to put up the frame. How exciting! Putting up the frame! And after that, what can we do? Yes! What can we do? Strawberry, we won't be ready to put up the frame until after lunch, but may I show you the grout colors for the tiles? Uh, sure. Um, just, uh... We can help. I'm great at grout. I'm a perfect painter. I could alphabetize supplies. And could you confirm the height of the fruit stall, Strawberry? Sure, I... Oh, are those the plans for the upstairs apartment? Oh, uh, not quite finished yet, Barry Kimbell. <gasps> the upstairs apartment? We'll work on that. That'll be our project. Oh, uh, really? Um, oh, okay. That'd be a big help, sure. But I haven't finished the, um, designs. We know what you love, Strawberry. Yeah. 
You want a skylight, right? How did you know that? Don't worry, Strawberry. We'll run every idea by you. What do you say? Well, all right. That's so nice of you to offer. Our pleasure. Come on, girls. Let's get going. <laughs> Great bloom and butter beans! You aren't supposed to be ripe yet. I told Strawberry two weeks. Oh no, no, the marketplace isn't ready yet. There's no place to put all of you until it's finished. What will I do? Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh no, 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 no. Water bottles. Oh, I've got to find some place to hide this stuff before Strawberry finds out. Ooh. But where will she put her books? She can come here to me. I'll find a place. Hey, I keep hearing a creaking sound. Oh, the only thing I hear is the pitiful wails of my poor ideas as they're shot down. Guess I'm just hearing things. She'll need a vanity for doing her hair. Like I said, there isn't room. Where will she put all her scarves? There could be a shelf in the wardrobe. One can't have too many books. Okay, so we all agree we want Strawberry's bedroom to have a special scent. Absolutely! But as far as the other ideas, Blueberry wants built-in bookshelves. Lemon believes a vanity is a must. Plum, you want her to have a dance bar. Which will take an entire wall. But where will she do her morning stretching? In your big wardrobe that'll take up half the room? Hey, just saying. Now, we promised we would run our plans past Strawberry. So tomorrow, let's each present our ideas and let her decide. What you think? Brilliant! Great idea. Perfect. Why didn't I think of that? Terrific. Well, then, meeting adjourned. So, who's for tea? Oh, I am, thanks. Blueberry? Um, do you have any raspberry? I'll take lemon. Mmm, orange. Plum, please. Nothing tops plum tea. As long as it has a squeeze of lemon. <laughs> Nah, I'm still just hearing things. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh well, if life gives you pineapples, make pineapple. Um, pineapple. Oh, pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Woodsy for Strawberry's bedroom. Need more floral. Ah! <gasps> I'm not just hearing things. Now I'm seeing things. <laughs> uh, onions? <laughs> How'd these get in there?
Kangaroos, a collection of humorous short stories. Fiction. By Patsy Von Schlagopeck. That's certainly an unwieldy name. Uh, what does unwieldy mean, Blueberry? It means difficult to handle. Maybe because of size or shape. Like that armoire and vanity? Huh? But, but, she has to have an armoire. But she has to have a vanity! I know, it's just that you left me the smallest wall for my ballet bar. But it's perfect, Plum. It is? Well, I was thinking, do you think I could use the bar to hang some silky scarves on just to show Strawberry what else she could use it for? Okay, girls, I've got it. The perfect scent for Strawberry's dream bedroom. Uh, but wait, I've got the perfect scent. Here's mine. What about my perfume? But Strawberry said she loved my orange aura room fragrance. She said she absolutely adored my plumicious pleasing perfume. She definitely okayed my Berry Bonnie Blueberry Bedroom Beautifier. But she okayed my Luscious Lemon Home Aromaizer. Hey, there's orange aura stuck to my vanity. It was supposed to be lemony light white. It's okay, Lemon. You know, orange really goes better with my bedspread palette anyway. <gasps> my wallpaper! Oh, that's nice, Blueberry. Thank you. I can't smell my fragrance. Oh, no. What have we done? Ugh. It's getting a little... Powerful in here. Let's take a break. Break? Let's evacuate. Give it a chance to unscent. Ew! What a smell! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, that is rich! Let me out of here! in bloom. Looking forward to that big harvest in two weeks, huh? <laughs> We're right on schedule. Oh, Berry and Bill. Uh, I was thinking, what a shame. What a very big shame. What do you mean? Well, it's just if the marketplace could be finished by, oh, let's say, tomorrow, I could submit a photo of it to Better Berry Bidding Buildings Digest for their Best Built Bidding Building of the Year Award. You would be a shoe in the Best Built Bitty Building Award? Whoa. Well, that's bigger than the Plasterer Prize and the Tyler's Trophy put together. Winning that would be such an honor for the crew. And for the construction boss in charge. All right, Berrykins, listen up. We have a little change in schedule. And you're gonna love it. <laughs> Kiwi fruit, none finer. Now, just stay there until tomorrow and you'll have your very own display in the marketplace. Wow! It's almost all done. Strawberry, looking great, huh? We're down to the wire. But you don't have to work so hard. You're way ahead of schedule. Oh, nothing doing, Strawberry. We're going for the gold. <gasps> Wait! I brought you all some pineapple upside down, Berry. Are you ready, Strawberry? Ready for what? Wait and see. <laughs> okay, just a few more steps. Almost there. <laughs> Just love it! Wow, it's, uh, incredible. Oh, what a pretty bedspread. <laughs> a 
And I love having a book. I mean, lots of books, right by the bed. And what a great vanity. I never would have thought of that. <sighs> well, I guess I'll have to get more outfits to fit in this wardrobe. <laughs> oh, what an original lampshade. Orange made it. Oh, and your exercise bar, Plum. I'll be sure to get my exercise first thing. And what an unusual room fragrance. Uh, but, but which fragrance do you like best? All I smell is kiwi, which is quite... Uh, refreshing. Kiwi? What's the matter, Strawberry? Oh, you didn't change your mind about this skylight, did you? Oh, because we can get rid of it. Or move it. Oh, no. It's just you've all done so much work for me. Of course, Strawberry. Anything to make you happy. Well, we'll leave you to enjoy. Strawberry. I put them there. I just didn't want to let anyone down. How would you let us down? I was wrong about the harvest. It won't be ready in two weeks. Well, that's okay. We can wait. It's ready now. No problem. We can now? <gasps> Colliding kiwis. We'd better get busy. This marketplace has to be open tomorrow. We're on it. Now let's get a move on. Clean up these kiwis. We're going to have this place ready at dawn. Good evening, Princess Berrikin. And what an evening it is. I heard about Berrikin Bloom's early harvest. Is there anything I could do to help? Oh, thank you, Princess. You could help me take these sandwiches over to the marketplace for the night crew. If only Berrikin Bloom could have expressed his needs from the start. Yes, but he was afraid to disappoint and... Oh, um, before you go, perhaps you could help me by eating some pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Oh, I am sorry, but I don't care for pineapple. But knowing you did something so thoughtful is sweet enough. That was a very gracious way to be honest, Princess. Hmm, I better call the girls over here for a pineapple party. Lovely idea. Mm hmm. I didn't tell you before what I wanted. Well, we're glad you finally did. Really? Absolutely. It's your bedroom. We just want you to be happy in it. I am. Oh, I really am. Uh, we forgot something. Oh, 
another room fragrance? Maybe... Oh, strawberry scent. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> A place to put down your ideas for the Marketplace's grand opening celebration. <gasps> oh, muffin crumbs! I forgot about the grand opening! Custard, cupcake, it's gonna be a long night. 